would you do if you were given a hundred dollars to make a difference in the world? Project Give is about inspiring a giving revolution and showing people that giving is a way of living. Project Give is basically a reality show about giving. Five different people were given a hundred dollars on two conditions. Number one, that they wouldn't use the money on themselves, but they had to use it to make a positive impact in the world. And number two, they'd allow me to document that act of giving. I gave away the first hundred dollars at a speaking engagement. I happen to have a hundred dollar bill with me right now. I'm wondering if anyone here in the audience right now is up to the challenge of using this hundred dollar bill to take it out into the world and make a difference with it. Linda was inspired by the book Three Cups of Tea and wanted to help out. Well, I'm actually sending it to the Central Asia Institute, which is the nonprofit corporation that Greg Mortensen is down. And here's how the other four recipients decided to use their $100. I really would like to help the animals and show just exactly what $100 could do, just how far $100 can go. I was wondering, you know, if there was any ideas what we could do with this. Well, what kind of ideas do you have? You want to do something because you were in foster care so much, you want to do something about foster kids? I figure this $100 will go a long way. It might even help plant a few trees or teach kids about trees. I found an orphanage called Blossom Gardens in Jamaica. The Central Asia Institute received $100 to further their work building 78 schools in rural areas of Pakistan and Afghanistan. Erica more than doubled her $100 and took food, treats, and bandanas to the dogs and cats of Animal Humane in New Mexico. Certainly lose tranquility, but gain much more. We share when we slow down for giving. She also gave some money to the care program of Animal Protection of New Mexico to help the often forgotten animal victims of domestic violence. Tyler multiplied his $100 and purchased 12 books of the giving tree. But I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy. And, uh, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. Slow down enough to give. Slow down. Once a foster child himself, he wanted to impart a lesson of giving to other young foster children. Thank you! Ebony donated $100 to Trees for the Future. Her $100 planted 1,000 trees in Ethiopia. And it supported a Tree Pals program connecting elementary and middle school students with students in developing countries around the world. Marley raised an additional $50 and donated the money to Embracing Orphans. With that money, they purchased cribs and blankets for Blossom Gardens Orphanage in Jamaica. Thank you.